Hey, what's up everyone? It's Frankie with Frankie for Life. Today I wanted to talk to you about iSilo and the Watchtower Library. Now iSilo is an ebook reader and Watchtower Library is a uh, publication um, that Jehovah's Witnesses published. It was a CD and later became a DVD that allowed you to install it on your PC and access all the publications that were published by Jehovah's Witnesses. This way you could use the publications for your research, for studying, for preparing for Bible studies, and for just expanding your knowledge on the Bible. And originally you could only get the Watchtower Library for a PC, a Windows PC. Then they uh, ad adapted a way to install it on a Mac computer. And so, um, but you still could not install the Watchtower Library on a mobile device. And this was way before JW Library, which is the, uh, the nice app that you can get now for your mobile devices. This was way before that, back in the, the early 1990s. And the friends, really, they wanted to be able to get these publications on their mobile devices. Yeah, we had mobile devices way back then. And um, so some brothers got together. They developed some tools that allowed them to convert the Watchtower Library into an ebook format. And they chose to use a program or an ebook uh, reader called iSilo. And so what you have to do. Uh, you would have to go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and you would have to download, purchase and download iSilo. It wasn't a free reader, it was uh, you had to pay for it. And once you installed uh, iSilo, then you would, uh, you would have to track down the file, the Watchtower Library file, uh, file for iSilo from someone that you knew. Um, I run a website called Meekspace.com. I've ran that for years, um, starting uh, back in 2005. And um, I helped the friends all over the world get these, uh, this particular iSilo file uh, onto their devices. And um, once you got that file, you would get it on your device, however, you know, whatever way was required. And then you would have the Watchtower Library or at least all of the publications that was in the Watchtower Library on your device. Now, uh, as the uh, branch, uh, you know, progressed, um, they eventually, you know, provided us really the absolute best tool we could ever ask for for our mobile devices, for any of our devices as, that, as far as that's concerned, JW Library. JW Library really opened up the world to all of us. We certainly appreciate the hard work uh, the branch uh, put put in to provide that tool for us. Um, but there's still reasons why somebody might want to have Watchtower Library for iSilo on their device. Um, they stopped converting the, the brothers that, that created the tools that allowed them to convert this. They stopped doing that in English back in 2013. But you can still get the 2013 version of this file, which has all the publications from 2013, you know, you know, way back, uh, back to the, even the back to 1950s and such. And so whatever the, the Watch Our Library had on it, uh, those publications are going to be in the Watch Our Library for iSilo. So what I wanted to do is, is show you what that looks like on an iPad. And it, and it really looks pretty close to the same on an Android device. But right now I'm showing you uh, my iPad. And basically I'm just using um, mirroring and putting it on my computer so I can record this. I wanted to show you what that looks like. So if you go into iSilo. Now incidentally what I'll do is show you if you went into the App Store and then you typed in iSilo and search. You notice iSilo is that uh, publication there on the left that, uh, uh, well, it's the only one that is showing here on the App Store. Um, and that's the proper one. So you would have to uh, install that. 
And I don't think it's free. At least it wasn't free several years ago when I first purchased it. So, you know, you'd have to be committed to this because uh, it, you know, it may be 5 or $10. I can't remember. It's not cheap. But you have to have this if you want to be able to use the Watchtower library uh, on your uh, iPad or Android device. So once you've got that, then you'll go ahead and go back to uh, your computer and, and I mean, your your device and you'll have to get the files on to your device and then opened up into iSilo. I'm going to do some videos on showing you how to do that later. I've done a lot of them but they're all outdated. It's been many years so I'm going to make some new ones with the best way to get those files on your device. But right now we're just going to show you what the the file looks like, what the uh, Watch Our Library for iSilo looks like today. So we'll go into iSilo now that I showed you what you had to have. And mine should open up the iSilo uh, pro, um, file right away. Now, it should have scrolled all the way over to the left, but my mirroring is kind of weird. So I'm just going to open a publication up and then close it again. And it should shift everything over like it uh, should be. So you can see what it actually looks like. So now you're looking at what iSilo, uh, what Watch Our Library for iSilo looks like. You notice um, you can scroll up and down, and you notice there you have books, and these are all the books published up until 2013. You have the brochures, and you have the booklets and tracks. You can just click any of those hot links to go into those publications. Along the top, you have other publications, um, such as the uh, Insight volumes, the Vound volumes, which is the Watchtower and Awake magazines, the Kingdom Ministries, and so we could go into, for instance, let's go into the VOL, which is the the Vound volumes of the Watchtower and Awake magazines. You notice we can go anywhere from 2013 to 1950 for Watchtower, or from 2013 back to 1970 for the Awake. And so if we just opened up, uh, say, the 86 Awake, and opened up one of the articles there, or one of the uh, um, magazines it'll have all of the articles that was in that magazine and so here you can click on any of those I'm just gonna click on how birds wings provide lift and as you can see there's the uh, the article that you can read I'm gonna go ahead and go back and we'll show you uh, the KM's if you go into the KM's you have the KM's from 2013 back to 1970 you can click on one, you can click on one of the months. There's all of the uh, articles that was in that. Um, you can click on one of them and you can scroll up and down. If you have the Bible in iSilo, um, if you click one of the hot links, like this first one up here, Psalm 61.8, if I click that, it'll actually take me to that scripture. And then I can hit the top blue arrow and go back to the article. Um, you have to have all the proper files and they all have to be in the same folder for these links like this to work um, but you know as you can see it's uh, pretty slick I'm gonna go back to the beginning again and show you the Bible so along the top you notice under that first row is the different books of the Bible so if we went into um, Psalm 83 18 there's the verse of course if you're one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you're familiar with this because this is one of the places in the Bible we'll, where God's name is mentioned, Jehovah. So we'll go back here, and um, there we are back to the original home screen. So that's really about all I wanted to show you is, is really what Watch Our Library for iSilo looks like. And look for some of my other videos where I can help you get the, the, the files onto your device and get them working. Just wanted to show you uh, the neat little tool. And what's nice is this can run even when you're not online, when you're offline. So you have access to a lot of publications that you might not have available with JW Library um, unless you've downloaded them. And a lot of these publications aren't listed in JW Library yet. And so it's nice to have them uh, accessible through another means offline when you don't have internet and so this is that's the main reason why it's nice to still have this on your device so thanks for taking the time
to watch this and look for some of my other videos.